Hello, it's what, Wednesday, alrighty, June 10th. Let's talk about what we're doing. I'm gonna say post Novatech. I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing, what some of my strategic plans are, and I'd love to hear from you what you're doing now that we're not hearing anything from Novatech, because I would like to recoup some money. So let's dive into it. But first, I want you to know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not give financial advice. This is my opinions my information about my journey, maybe suggestions, but you have to do your own due diligence. You have to do your own research. You have to know what's right for you. Only use money that you can afford to lose. Don't cash out your retirement, put your retirement into a platform because this is, as another YouTuber that I follow always says, this is the wild, wild west. It's, it is crypto. It is uh, state-of-the-art uh, investing, if we could use that term loosely. Uh, this is not a regulated space, so only use money that you're willing to play around with, and that's what I do. But it's what I want to do today is I want to dive into looking at uh, three companies that I have my eye on, one that I am currently involved in, and compare to Novatech. Um, we have to do our own due diligence. We have to research these programs and we have to weigh all the pros and the cons and then decide to play if we want to or not. Um, what's happened to Novatech? There's zero conversation. There is zero communication from anyone in Novatech. I say anyone, I mean CEOs. Um, a lot of the leaders are no longer doing Zooms on it. Is it because CEOs of Novatech are tied up in legal action. That is very possible. Uh, I know how the whole legal arena gets played out. They becomes a hush game and they don't say anything. Others are saying that they ran off. Um, there's no proof on that. So I'm, I'm torn. I don't know what's happening, but I'm not going to sit around. Um, I, as well as a couple family members, we do have some money sitting in there or sitting somewhere in their account or in their pocket. But I'd like to do something to see if I could at least recoup my, at least my initial investment that I have in no tech. So that's what led me to look at some other platforms. I'm going to hop over here to screen and let's see if it's going to show me. There we go. So Vortic United. Uh, I've already done a couple of videos on that. And uh, if you're interested, if you've heard about it, even if you have not, jump back on about two videos ago where I go in depth. Yes, it's kind of lengthy. You might want to hop ahead certain parts of it, but I go in depth and give you a tour. The second video that I recently did on Vortec United gave you a brief how to find your account a tutorial. And then I've got two other companies. I'm only going to call it company one and company two. I'm not involved in either of those yet. I do not want to disclose what they are, but I want to talk about them. And lastly, we're going to compare all three of these to Novatech FX. If you're watching my video, you probably have been involved in Novatech and you probably have some money hung up in there as well and you're wondering what to do. Let's dive into comparing these different companies here. So I apologize for using paint, um, but I didn't, I didn't know what else to use for a visual and I didn't want to just talk and get you lost in my ramble here. So let's talk about uh, company being transparent. Transparency. Let's, let's look at uh, Novatech first over here. Were they transparent in everything that they did? Um, boy, you know, sometimes, yes, uh, it's transparent as far as CEOs, who they were. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's do, let's do some different check marks here. Let's go red and green. Okay. So, were they transparent as far as who the CEOs were? Uh, yeah, they made themselves known. Were they transparent as far as everything that they were doing? I'm going to have to give them a bigger red. They started, well, we're going to get into the second one here as far as trading. So, let's hold off on that. Okay, so let's go over here to Vortec United. Uh, Transparent. Do I have green? Yep. They're transparent. They show everything that they're doing. They're showing the the back reports. The CEO um, is Jensen Robles. He is on at least once, probably twice a week on 
Zoom calls, giving us updates, showing his long-term plan. Um, company one, transparent. Yes, the the owner um, is making himself known. Going back to Vortec, you can go there whenever you want. You can, you know, I'm going to probably hop around here. You can meet the owner. You can go and schedule a time. You can tour the facilities. You can meet the owner, have dinner with the owner, meet the IT staff. They will show you the the trading company one here. Yes, uh, they're transparent who they are, what they do, their their trading slash other whatever they do. And this will be disclosed because I'm really close to jumping in on on this one here. They show in real time. I just watched a video yesterday. They show in what well, it was recorded, but at the time it was real time exactly what they do. Did Novatech, they started off saying that they did real trading, which I believe when they first started, they probably did do real trading because apparently they put some reports out. Did they ever show the trading? No. Did they, after they got established and going after their first year, did they show? No. Did they show any reports? No. No, 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 no. I believe that they started off doing real trading, but they stopped. That's my opinion. So company one, and I'm looking at my cheat sheet in front of me here, so that way I can keep track of what my companies are. Um, yes, they do show. Uh, in fact, it, it, I'm, I'm going to kind of let out little hints here. So if you're familiar with this company, you're going to pick up on it. Um, in fact, it is established that if you excel in their marketing or the affiliate program, there we go, affiliate program, you get to a certain level that you can even have access or they will install on your computer the program that they use. That's how transparent, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to put another dash up here. They are and they show the real actions that they do. Um, okay, we're kind of skipping here. So company two, are they transparent? The individual who is behind it makes himself very known as far as who he is. He states what they do, but I, I have to give real, uh, I have to give a red mark on real actions. I should call it rather than real trading, real actions. Um, because he only states, doesn't show. I can put a green down. No, wait, I'm going to get ahead of myself here. Let's back up. So it does not show what it does. Um, I've got to give a, I have to put a, another red up here under transparency because even though the gentleman who masterminded the idea, I am be very careful calling him front man, um, he makes himself known, does not disclose anyone else who is involved, states others are, but does not disclose who they are. So are they real? I question that. Whereas Vortec states, this is who I am. You come, you come to facilities, you'll meet anybody else who we employ. Company one, uh, they make it very known who their tech person is, who their public relation is, and where they're at. So transparency, we've got real actions, I'm going to call it. And let's go meet the owner. So Vortec United, if I wanted to go meet the owner, I put a request in, I schedule a time, I can go meet them. Uh, there's two gentlemen from the U.S. that have already gone over there. They came back, says, we met the owner, we had dinner with the owner, we looked at the facility that they're in the, be in process of moving into, and we saw their their actions, their real their trading, their what they do. Company one, I had conversation, a communication with a individual who recently went over met the CEO, saw what they did as far as their, back up here to real trading, real actions. We're going to call it real actions. I should have phrased that. Saw that. Back over here, uh, Vortec, there's another gentleman who's putting together a small team. And next month, they will be going over to meet. So I have to put a, let me select green here. I have to put here, meet. Uh, yes, people have met the owner. Company two, 
meet the owner? Yes, there have been events where people have gone and met the owner slash um, mind behind it. But to meet the other major players, no. Um, meet the owner Novatech. I I have to put a I I gotta put a fat red one right in here, uh, because it was only through Zoom they had this last winter I think it might have been fall an event in Florida. Cynthia was supposed to appear, and last minute did not. Um, stated that there was a family emergency, a death in the family, which I it's not for me to judge whether that was true or not. Just out of curiosity, I did do some internet searching and really couldn't find anything. But if the individuals from another country, which they do have relatives in other countries, that could be the case. But there's really been no one else that's made it known that they could go and meet them. They didn't have anything in place that says, hey, come, come and meet us. So I got to give them a big red one on that. Website. Uh, let's start over here. Let's talk about established websites, ease to use. Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, I got, I got to give a, a big fat one to Novatech. Even though I've heard some say that it was kind of antiquated, could have been a little more updated. Um, it was ease to use. They did make improvements. They had issues with their server and bottleneck on Fridays. They, they did fix that. They were doing stuff, but it kind of fell apart. Let's hop back to the beginning here. Vortec United. Um, I like their website. I recently became involved. I am going to do my first cash out this weekend. Another that I know involved has already done at least one, if not two cash outs, maybe more. Can't remember the exact amount and had absolutely no problem. Um, rather quick. So uh, like the website, like what they show. They show their trading reports. You can go on if you're involved in affiliate side of it, marketing side, you can do all of that. I'm not heavily involved in that. If you want to jump into Vortec United, I'm going to put a link in this video in the description. Really, this is the only platform that I really make known. And if you want to jump into what I'm doing, you can do your own due diligence first. But they, they do have that nice aspect on the back end of their website. Company one, watching um, you know some other tutorial videos, it appears that their, their website uh, is decent, easy to use from what I, I've seen, not involved yet. Company two, um, I, I, I've got some, some deep heart concerns here. They had a website going up till, I don't know, a couple months ago or so, because I was on it and I was, I was looking at it. And then all of a sudden they did a website change where you could no longer go to that URL. You had to go to a different one, but if you went to that different URL, you saw nothing because you had to have been given a code to kind of enter in in order to see the website. Well, then I saw a mention that they, and I'm going to say this very carefully because I may get involved in this platform and that's why I'm not disclosing who it is. There was someone that mentioned they're going underground because they had legal action thrown at them. So I started doing some digging on that and lo and behold, I saw some, some legal action. Okay, we're going to put one down here that, so there was some legal action that prompted them to shut down the public website and go to more private. So I found that and lo and behold, the dates were very close. So that kind of has me concern if they had this cease and desist order thrown against them, did that cause them to change the website, make it not so public? I, I, I don't, I don't know. That's why I have this concern. So I got, I got to put a red in here. Maybe they are doing it for site improvement reasons. I don't know. I would, I would like it addressed. I believe I'm going to reach out and pose that question to them. Um, and if I get a very, um, acceptable answer, yeah, you know, I may prompt me to get involved in company two. And if that's the case, you know, I'll definitely bring that information, that clarity back. So I, I can't say any more about the website because there's nothing public. Yes, I was given a referral link to go. Um, but I, I kind of like, you know, how if it's public, if, you, if you're doing everything okay, why hide? And yes, I understand this is crypto. And yes, I understand that the U.S. doesn't like crypto. The 
you know, United States government, SEC, financial aspects of a government, they don't like crypto because they can't have their fingers in it. So if there is something that is slightly connected to any kind of crypto activity, you know, a lot of states, um, California, Wisconsin are two big ones currently. They want to go in and just start throwing these cease and desist orders around. So yeah, I kind of get it. You know, if you not so public, you can offer these platforms, offer these opportunities. And if people choose to get involved, they can. And if they lose, they lose. It's their, it was their choice. Now, these Vortec and company, one, um, there is nothing that's U.S. connected. Vortec, they reside, the CEOs resided in the U.S. They did have some other um, company ventures in the U.S. that kind of connected all, intertwined somehow. So, yes, U.S. base, Novatech, and get served your cease and desist. Company two, uh, from what I've learned, it's primarily U.S. base. So, yes, you're going to get those cease and desist orders. Vortech, overseas. Company one, overseas. The only connection to U.S. is U.S. residents being able to type in that web address and go to that website. So that's the only thing that's connected to the United States. So how is anybody like California or Wisconsin going to serve a cease and desist to a company, a platform that's not even, they don't reside in U.S.? So I guess we got to put down here, we got to get to our green and current legal actions on Vortec. Nope. And no on company one and Vortec. And a big fat one on Novatech. Customer support. Customer support. Let's start over here. Novatech. It sucked. There wasn't anything good to say about customer support. Vortech United. On uh, Vortech United, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a big thick green. I've heard from numerous individuals that whether they wanted to test it, which we shouldn't do because you could overload just testing, or they just had legitimate questions, they got a response back from customer support very, very quick. Within 24 hours, if not less. Company one, I I don't know. I've only heard from one individual that, you know, good customer support. So so I get I guess I, I don't know. So I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a, a yellow in there. I don't know. Um company two, uh through post, okay, through post that I've seen, um uh, People stated that their customer support is good, that they're on top of it. So what do we have here? Uh, Novatech, hey, we've got a couple greens in our discussion. We've got a lot of red. Company two, you know, I don't know. There, there's, there's enough there that I question sustainability, being able to operate, transparency. I, I don't know, but if I learn more and I do become involved, um, I'll bring it back to you. Let me know what your thought is. Company one, uh, for the exception of I have no information on customer support, I'm giving them all greens. I'm giving them green light. Um, they do have Zoom. I think it's a couple times a month. So it's not real regular. Um, it is a fairly new platform. One gentleman that I do know that I have had communication with who has met the owner believes in it so much that he has put a large sum of money in. He believes in it so much. Um, in fact, the what he communicated was when he met with the owner, his long-term plan, his heart, the way he communicated that he wants to do this for the people. In fact, um, let, me, let me put another one in here. Um, we're just going to call it cost. So he, he, he stated that the at company one, when he met with the owner, that the owner wants to help people. The entry amount to get into this is ridiculously low because he's doing that. So people in third world countries, you know, who have access to the Internet and such, they too can get involved. Um, Vortec, I'm, I'm drawing oh fifty dollars. <laughs> so. So $50 to get into Vortec, that's the minimum amount. Um, Novatech, well, we can't get into that anymore, so it's not even 
Let's not even talk about that. Can't get into it. Company two, um, it's 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 much higher than Vortec. You know, I'm I'm gonna put yeah, I'm gonna put a red and a yellow. Um, it it's not. I mean, it's it's under a thousand dollars. Okay, it's under a thousand, but it, it's not super low. So I, I, I go back to the gentleman who put in a substantial amount, and he says the, the gentleman communicated through his heart that he has this envision to help people, n- not himself. Yes, the, the company has to make money. So what do we do? If we want to try to recoup what I'm going to consider potentially some lost money from Novatech, what do we do? Do we just sit idle and do nothing, or do we research, do our due diligence, find something that may be show to be more solid. Um, I guess when I look at something like this and I look at the colors, uh, right now, Vortec United, I'm in. Company one, I am very, very, very close. In fact, what my plan is to take some earnings from Vortec, roll into company one, get that rolling, and then start to pull money from both and recoup my initial investment that I made from Novatac. That way, now I have this peace of mind that I, you know, didn't lose anything. And then if Vortec and Company One continue to roll, uh, then I'll be back in profit. So uh, it's not for everybody. You have to make up your own mind. I'm not telling you what to do. Let me let me go back. Okay, let me go back to here. That way I can talk to you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what my plan is. If you agree and you want to do the same thing, I'm just giving you information. Once I do become involved in company one, I'm going to bring that to you. I'm going to bring full disclosure, what it is and how to get involved, the pros and cons. We got to remember, these are for the most part, unregulated platforms. Okay. So only use what money you're willing to lose. Okay. Did we lose a Novatech? I don't know. Something could still happen. We, they could say, okay, we're done legally. We settled. We're going to pay everybody back their initial investment only. Not profits, just initial. I'd be happy with that. But in the meantime, I feel like I'm going to do something. I'm not just going to sit here and wave my money goodbye. If I can do something to try to at least make some of it back, I can start off simple and work up. Um, for you people out there that are big into mar- your marketing, you're big into building groups, you can excel this thing. You know, Take it. Run with it. Um, Vortec and Company One, they have some really good uh, affiliate programs for those of you who are driven and know how to do that. You could build it and make some of your money back much quicker. So there, there we have it. Uh, I'm not going to ramble on much more. I just wanted to give you some what I'm thinking and give you some information, give you something to look at. Um, if you do like what you see as far as like Vortec United, um, I am going to put the referral link down below if you want to jump in with me. Um, and then once I make up my mind on company one, I'll let you know on that as well. And if something unfolds on company two, we'll talk about that at that point in time. But hey, put down in the comments what you think about all this. Vortec, company one, company two, and how they kind of compare to Novatech. Let me know. I do look at the comments. The, the crap ones, I'm not going to respond back to you. But if you're legitimate and you want to have some dialogue, some conversation, something that's constructive, I'd love to have that with you. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Follow me. Um, Hit that like button. That way it tells me what kind of content you like to see. And let's see where this whole journey takes us. In the meantime, have yourself a great Wednesday afternoon and evening.